contracts with free agents. The Ravens, they locked up one of their own before allowing him to hit the open market. WMAR 2 News' Sean Stepner explains tonight from Owings Mills. It is a life-changing deal for a homegrown Raven. The first thing I did was, you know, I cried a little bit, I ain't gonna lie, uh, prayed, uh, called my dad immediately. He was stoked, he was like, what? Defensive tackle Justin Metabike shocking his father by telling him about the four-year contract extension he inked worth a reported $98 million, $75.5 million guaranteed. I'm hungry. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get back to work again. I've been working out, as y'all can see, a little bit. But, uh, you know, I'm just going to keep working and keep being better and just keep striving for greatness for sure. The 26-year-old pro bowler and second-team All-Pro was franchise tagged last week before agreeing to the extension on Friday. He just completed the best season of his four-year career. 13 sacks, 56 tackles, 12 tackles for loss, 33 quarterback hits, and two forced fumbles. He can play the run, and he's an exceptional pass rusher, too. And uh, he's a guy that's gotten better every single year. This year, what I felt like helped take his game to a next level if you really just watch him and watch our film and pay attention to it, he played all across the defensive line. That versatility is not common. I feel like I have a very unique uh, body type in, in which I can, I'm strong enough to hold myself in terms of uh, being a nose. I'm quick enough and agile enough to rush as a three, and then I'm, I'm also fast enough to burn the edge. Now the question becomes, what do general manager Eric DaCosta and the Ravens do next? NFL teams can start negotiating with free agents today and start signing them on Wednesday. Even though the Matabike signing saves the Ravens about $10 million in salary cap space, Baltimore is right up against the cap as the new league year begins. We will have to be financially uh, responsible in most cases because we do have a lot of money going to very good players. The latest being their breakthrough defensive tackle. In Owings Mills, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.